was goody everybody it's your boy tito today is april 29 2022 it's 12 28 p.m and we are in patterson new jersey because we have a customer here we're gonna go make a sale i know i look crazy that's because i've been rushing all day make sure you guys like and subscribe for the youtube algorithm gods can finally bless my channel and most importantly, guys, we do this for the people. The people, which is you guys. Let me show you guys what I'm about to sell him. So this customer found me through Instagram. Guys, if you guys haven't done it already, if you're a sneaker reseller, invest in stickers. Stickers, stickers, stickers. Well, that one doesn't have any stickers, but I got some stickers right here. I got these from Staples. I got like 100 pieces for like 20 or 30 bucks. Not bad. But anyways, this is what we're going to sell him. You guys see the box. You guys see the skill. Let's read off the number 554 724 And this is a size 9 in men. The retail is 120 and I'm going to resell it to him for 180 Before I show you guys the shoe, which some of you guys might know what shoe that is because of the SKU number, let's remove the price. And why are we going to take out the price? Because customers complain. I'm like, oh, the box says it costs 120 and you sold it to me for 180 you're ripping me off no i'm not ripping you off sir i buy and i resell sneakers i did not force you to buy these sneakers so yep <laughs> so these are the shoes that we're selling today these are called the jordan one made the linen l-i-n-e-n -E and tell me what you guys think about these are these copper drop Let's go meet up the customer, guys. Oh, also, um, every time you make a sale, right? Make sure to always take a picture of the sale and then you tag the customer and make sure that the customer reposts you through their Instagram or their social media. Why? Because then their followers see it, then somebody from their followers might buy from you. And it's like an ongoing chain reaction. So it's very important to do that. It is so annoying to do that every single time. So I have about maybe five to 10 meetups per day. And yes, I take a picture every single time and I post it every single time. Listen, promotion, promotion, promotion. Promotion is key. If you don't promote yourself, then who will? Anyways, guys, let's go see the customer and let's go get this money. Bye. Hi, how are you? Okay, guys, this is a first time customer. I have never met this guy before, but make sure you guys always give great customer service try to have a conversation with the customer just for you can get to know him to be honest with you i do get nervous when i'm meeting a first time customer but this is all part of the business customer service is key ask him a few questions about himself about what shoes he likes about what they do just just a couple of stuff you know just for you can get to know them a bit and yeah guys i hope that these techniques can help you guys out in your sneaker business so but thank you these are for thank you, you or these are for your son for my son i gotta pick oh. up right now from the he live in the hub oh okay so i gotta pick up from after school we prepare something like surprising here so it's gonna be he I'm was sure showing me the orange he, he like freaking does color for orange or blue whatever okay and then i sent the picture and i said that this guy got this and i told him you gotta i think he got i think one of great is bad so i told him you know after two months after you show me you you report card i'm gonna give it to you oh good but now i'm gonna give it to you now good it here. good it's better was yesterday thank Bye. you thank, thank you, you for the support okay i'll see you around all right Bye. that's how we do it One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We just made 60 bucks profit. On to the next. All right, guys, let me show you what I sold on GOAT and on my eBay store. Oop, we don't want to scratch the car, but this box, shout out to my eBay store, shout out to my supporters. I sold the green toe lows in a size five. The retail is 75 and I resold them for 150 on my eBay store. So shout out to you guys. Let's put that one to the side. This one I sold through GOAT. This is a Yeezy Sage size 11 used. I bought them for my boy for 100. I resold them for 225. But with payout, I'm probably gonna get like 200. And don't forget that 3% fee that GOAT charges for, uh, well, that PayPal charges really. So, 
and we're gonna drop it off at the UPS store. How you doing? Thank you. Yeah. Have a good one. Guys, 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 if you're an upcoming sneaker reseller, if you want to be a reseller and you have no idea how to get started, I'm going to tell you guys how you guys can get started right now. You guys have to go to your local malls, right? Go to your closest mall, hang out there for a couple of hours. I'm pretty sure that you guys are going to see a reseller there, right? Guys, don't be afraid to ask questions. In this business, there's a lot of networking. You have to be willing to talk to people. You have to be willing to ask the questions. At first, I was a little shy, of course. I was a little bit lost, but I just started asking questions. I started networking with other resellers, see what strategies they use that help them be successful in their business. That's step one. Step two, of course, you know, follow them through Instagram, take down their information. And listen, guys, there's a restock almost every day. Either it's at Foot Locker, it's at Jimmy Jazz, DTLR, Kids for Locker, Rest in Peace Foot Action, but Champs, Snipes, there's so many sneaker retail stores. By I'm just telling you guys about the sneaker stores in New Jersey. Now, if you go outside of New Jersey, you have I don't know, uh, Hibbit Sports, you have Shoe Palace, there's JD Sports, Finish Line, all these other retail stores, right? There's a restock about every day, something is always coming out. Either it's for men, women, grade school, toddler, preschool, there's always something coming out. Next step, start going into these retail stores, make a friend, make a friend of somebody who works at these stores that can keep you updated. How do I pay them, right? How do I pay the sneaker store workers? I pay them on how much quantity can I get? For example, if like a bread patent leather comes out and if they keep me updated and if I get like a size, let's say if I just get like a size nine, right? That shoe I can resell for like 300, 325. If you guys check out the market right now for a bread patent leather, it's going for around three-ish. So because I can sell it for the high, then I'm going to tip them well. I base my tips on the shoes that I get from their store, right? So for like a bread, patent leather, I would tip them $50 per pair. If they ever need something from me, like if they ever need a shoe from me, I make sure to not charge them too high. I charge them what they feel comfortable paying, right? If they ever need a trade, I'll do a trade for them for free. It's very hard to find a good sneaker store plug. So when you have a good one, take care of them. Take care of them because they're hard to get. But what I'm gonna tell you right now is one of the most important things. And it's one of my secrets that like, I don't really like telling, you know, cause, but uh, we do this for the people guys. I wanna help you guys out for you guys can start your own reselling journey, your own reselling business. So, you know, there's tricks to the trade, right? You make a Full Locker account, right? Make sure to download the Full Locker app. That same email and password works for Champs and Kids for Locker. Every time you buy something, you use your account. You scan the barcode, they add points into your account. With that, with the points that you get, it helps you get the releases, like the Yeezys, the Retros, the Dunks. The points are important, right? So. Let's say if a shoe is coming out next weekend, right? The week of the release, make sure to be buying something on your account to show Foot Locker that your account is active. Next thing is, right? When you're making an account, try to make several, right? Make one for you, make one for the camera guy, right camera guy? Shout out to the camera guy for uh, having his Foot Locker account. Make one for your mother, make one for your cousin, make one for your brother, sister. You guys get the point. The more accounts that you make, the more chances that you have to obtain these sneakers. Now, how many points do you need for you can start winning raffles? I would say you need about three to 400,000 points to get you started. Now, 300,000 points in Foot Locker converted into dollars 
that's basically look at these badass kids that's about three thousand dollars so you're gonna have to spend some money right so if you guys need a shirt if you guys need some socks you guys need a jacket a sweater a hat sneaker cleaning stuff anything that a foot locker champs or kids foot locker sells let me show you guys what we loop today we got the lamello balls don't sleep on the lamellos let's see how many pairs we got we got one two three four five six seven eight nine what type of lamellos did we get we got the red blast let me know what you think about these is these copper drop comment below these retail at 125 the resale is like 200 to like 225 so this is one of them and then we have another colorway so this is the what colorway is it the O2, right so some of you guys might be asking me tito how do you get so many pairs guys these shoes are only one per customer so how i get the pairs i basically focus on me I basically go to the store, I come outside, and I start sending in bodies. Like, yo, excuse me, ma'am, I'm sorry to bother you. I'll tip you $10 if you go in for me. Boom, done. These retail at $125. Resell is $200 Same as the Red Blast. These are called the Queen Cities. Let me know what y'all think about these. Are these copper drops? Comment below. All right, so let me show you guys the, the Brave Blue, the Blue Brave. Got these off the full locker raffle, right? These were first come first serve. These were first come first serve. But the 13s was a part of the raffle. So I'll show you guys the skew. You guys see the box. You guys see the skew. Whew. Let's see. Let me know what y'all think about these. Are these copper drop. So like I mentioned earlier, the retail is 200 Resale is 260 But to be honest these are pretty easy to get uh not so many people are crazy about 13s now if this was like a bread colorway maybe it would sell out more but these aren't really like a crazy colorway right and they kind of look like the flints that came out a couple of years ago so people would rather have the flints and have these but they're still profit right so i did a couple of pre-orders and we're picking up pairs and we're going to meet up the customers later on make sure y'all stay tuned for that and we'll be right back bye